Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Phenology Lab. We're back again with another pre-market analysis video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top stocks that you should be watching for today and for the next few days. First and foremost, the SPY is down. The SPY did um, what I didn't want it to do, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. Because now we know for sure that today may be a short day. There's a strong possibility that today may be a short day. Um, yeah, if you look at this on the one hour time frame, this is not looking good. This is this is the part where like we aim for these these lows right here at around 3200. As I've mentioned yesterday, which could happen and it looks like it actually might happen. So again, um, if you're long on a spy, be really careful. Like if you were buying calls like yesterday, be really careful. And uh, if you realize that the stock is just not going to do much, just cut losses quickly and then um, re-strategize from there after the market kind of like chills out a little bit. Or if you want to go short, be my guess. But yeah, um, spy is just not looking too good at all. Not looking good for the longs. It looks good for the shorts, but not good for the longs, okay? So we're gonna talk about the stock that I talked about yesterday in yesterday's video, right? PlayStation, and let's go back to S&E, Sony. And it looks like they obliterated earnings and they're up buy a lot and they're opening up at 81 dollars and yeah my price target is the same a slight pullback would be healthy for the stock given the fact that um the spy is red right now just a slight pullback back down to like 79 dollars and then just a the continuation all the way up to the price target up here which i've talked about in yesterday's video um i'm not changing the price target the price target is the same the stock is doing great. Earnings went well. Everybody is happy right now. It might even get there early. So, yeah. Um, definitely keep Sony on your watch list. Okay. Definitely keep Sony on your watch list. It looks it looks great. The stock looks great. So, uh, yeah. That is my two cents on, on Sony. The next stock that we should talk about is NEO. There we go. Okay, Neo looks like it's pulling back a bit. Um, I'm not too concerned until it gets below 2680. I'm not too concerned about Neo until it gets below 2680. But it's still a hold right now. It's still looking strong and bullish, especially given the fact that it look like it's looking like this on the daily chart. Yeah, um keep your eye on Neo. If it drops too low. Um, just approach this with caution. Approach this with caution. Obviously, if you got in early, you're still making bank, right? But then again, you don't want to be caught in a situation where the stock just tanks and tanks and tanks, and then you give up all of your gains. So be really careful. Um, be ready to cut losses quickly if the stock doesn't behave and comes back up here to $28 and continue up. Just be really careful, okay? Um, be on the lookout for a break above $28. A break above $28 would be great. Like somewhere around like this afternoon. Yeah, that would be excellent. It may be a little scary in here, okay? Like make consolidate in here around like 27. If the, if the, uh, if Neo stays strong and doesn't collapse with the market, it may just stay in here between 27.5 and $27. Before going back up above 28 and continuing up to the price target of 32 to 35, just somewhere in here. So again, um, watch for intraday patterns as well, because there is some money to be made intraday. This is a big move intraday. So there is money to be made intraday in both directions. So definitely keep your eyes open. Okay. And uh, don't have a bias do not have a bias the next stock that we're going to talk about is another stock that you've been asking for is uh, snap and yeah it looks like snap snap wants to go to 39 dollars 
if it can go down even lower that would be great again this is not a terrible company the crushed earnings it is a healthy thing for snapchat to tank down to like 39 dollars 38 dollars maybe okay but just just a drop would be very nice that would the people who bought in here and who sold in here would be more tempted to buy back in again at a cheaper price and push the stock higher so definitely keep snapchat on your watch list i mean today uh consider short <laughs> definitely consider short given the fact that the market is ready uh let's see what news they put out uh okay it's still it's still the same thing y'all can read that it's still the same thing yeah so this stock is tanking yeah so just again short perspective people short perspective don't get caught on the wrong side of the trade another stock that we're going to talk about is um uh, hyln a lot of people have been wanting me to address this situation i'm not bullish on it yet i think it can go down for like, to like 18 dollars i really think it can um yeah i'm not bullish on this at all let's see um daily chart yeah, just, just a little bit lower would be nice. And then just a very boring consolidation. Before I change my mind on this to the long side, the stock is not looking too appealing for me. Um, obviously, short sellers from here are very, very, very happy watching this thing collapse, right? So, again, just uh, keep this and watch this probably for like a week or two. But right now, I'm not touching the, I'm not touching the stock at all. Like, I don't... I don't find any any reward in like any direction right now. Nothing is obvious regarding the stock right now, so I'm not gonna touch it at all. The next stock that um, I'm gonna follow up on is PACB, and this stock looks like it wants to squeeze short sellers. I have seen this before. This is actually not pretty. Um, if the stock doesn't tank, like. Like if today is not such a terrible red day and the stock doesn't drop to like $12, like everybody in here could be squeezed on the way up to like $20. And plus they have earnings around the corner. So watch out. Like this little stock may surprise you. Like it was at what, $2? It may surprise you during earnings. They may post the most amazing earnings and then, uh, the reaction could be so, so massive, and then it opens up at like $18, and it pushes up higher. So you don't want to be caught in that situation, especially if you're short. So yeah, this is not this is not something that I would short personally. Like, I would not put my money in this. I was short on the first day, and then I covered on the third day, because I was like, mm, I don't like this very much. And then, evidently, it's going up to it more. So be careful if you're shorting PACB. Be really, really careful. The next stock that we're going to talk about is Apple. Apple tried to make a comeback. Um, it really did. It had two solid red, um, green days. It really, really did. But right now, I think, I really think that Apple could go all the way down to like 113. 113 and then tomorrow, the consolidation probably between 114 and 113 again. And then what ha whatever happens through earnings is whatever happens through earnings. The last earnings they had pushed the stock all the way up to like, before the split, it pushed the stock all the way up to like 500 or 400. But again, right now, um, we never know. Like, I'm not bullish on this at all. I'm actually bearish on it. So um, be looking to make a move. Be looking to, to, to make a move on the way down as to short because the, the spy is tanking. And uh, and the long are scared, like it's really, really scared right now, especially the dip buyers. And if this level collapses, if this level gives out, it can even go to 110. So just keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. Like the absolute low for this in the short term is like 10, 105. And it could get there through earnings. Again, keep that in mind. For those of you who like to play earnings, who like to go long on earnings, like if you're buying contracts, you could get obliterated, especially if the stock opens up at 105, okay? So um, these are the top stocks that you should be keeping on your watch list for today and for tomorrow. 
Again, if you got value from this video, destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. If you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notification. That way you get notified whenever I post these pre-market videos which are 15 minutes before the market opens and the post-market videos that I do post between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. Central Time in the afternoon. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul Nguma and at Patternology Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. If you are a beginner looking to get started in the stock market and looking to have access to this amazing tool called Think or Swim, I left the, this, the directions in the description of the video below. It's only four little steps and it takes only 15 minutes to get set up with everything. You can also get two free stocks with Webull using the link below after you register and also one free stock with robin hood using the link below after you register once again my name is Paul guma with patternology lab where we trade patterns and patterns only and i'm gonna see all of you this afternoon do not get caught on the wrong side of the trade today may be a short day it really, really may be a short day. So keep your eyes open, okay? Be really careful out there.